Welcome to Design Basics. Understanding Visual Order, a foundation course in basic design. There are specific prerequisites to the course. Knowledge of elements and principles of design are essentials for proceeding. With this assumption, we move further to our next step. In the previous video, we understood task 1 and saw the outcome of students' work. If you have not seen it, please do so, to avoid a distorted understanding of the concept. To recollect, let's look at one more example, showcasing a series of four pictures. Why are we clicking these pictures? The results display an attempt to create a connect between the pictures. In these examples, we can see connections of incremental actions, emotions, and gestures. Imagine substituting these pictures to that of content in a layout. Assign a number to the content in each frame. We get a sequence. When arranging these frames, the sequence becomes more relevant inside a larger structure. We realize the importance of visual order. So what do we conclude with the completion of task 1? What do we learn? We learn that when we position a single element in a confined frame, it is easy for the viewer to focus. There is nothing else to look at, grabbing attention is therefore more effortless. However compositions with a single element can be made interesting by the element's position in space. When the number of elements increase, order in some form is necessary. It creates a visual flow. In our journey, now it might be easy for you to understand the reason as to why we increase the number of persons in task 2. In task 2, shoot a picture of two persons in such a manner that person A is seen prior to person B. As in, person A should be seen first in visual order in comparison to B. See these results for task 2 and try to identify whom did you see first out of the two.